this clip covers short color correction within an over engineering. So short color correction is a correction applied when there is suboptimal magnetic spacing within the VHA and you're getting z-axis interference from the VHA itself. So the things we need to look at for this are first of all set up the project name and save the file as I'm just going to save it on the desktop for this example. Okay, now we've saved the file, we're going to go in and select our options. So, first of all are the units, and the ones we're looking at for short colour correction are magnetics and accelerometers. Don't worry if you don't know what units your raw surveys are in yet, um, we can come back and adjust these at a later point once we know what we've pulled in. And then the other one is options and raw survey QC limits. Currently you'll see this is greyed out, the reason it's greyed out is we need to be within the raw surveys table to be able to select them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. The, on the main user interface, the only tab that we're concerned with for short color correction is the surveys tab, specifically only when raw surveys are selected. All the other inputs um, from engineering parameters, drill, string, wellbore geometry, we're not interested in, just exclusively this tab. So now that I've got raw surveys selected on the surveys tab, when I go to options, raw survey QC limits, I can select it. This brings up our QC limits, and on the left-hand side of the dialog here, this is where we input our QC tolerances. So a plus or minus value um, from the reference values of this amount will be classed as in-spec, out with that amount, and they will be classed as out-of-spec. So these are the default, but these are user-changeable, if you so desire. Hit them as OK. So what we need to input for the purposes of short color correction are these raw survey data values. Um, so I have an existing file here with my raw survey data, but importantly for this stage is the uh, reference data. So I'm just going to pull this to the side and so I can put that data in, put it on my second monitor, and I'm going to copy and paste those values in. Just note the units here are micro Tesla. VHR reference, make sure they're in the correct unit sets, otherwise you end up with some funky results. I'm going to put my declination next, and make sure your north reference is selected correctly. So in this case, we're wanting our um, north reference to be to grid. Okay, and we're not interested in this inclination to use at this stage, but select it as raw. Okay, so that is all of the reference data we need to input before we pull our surveys in. Next, I'm going to pull in our first survey. So we've got them in the correct order, MD, GX to Z, and HX to Z. So I'm just going to copy this first line and paste it in. And what we can see here is that we've pulled in our data into the correct columns, we've already checked the order, but we're getting all of our values look out of spec, um, and this looks like it's not working. However, if I go back to the units and select my magnetics and accelerometer units, this could be the cause of the issue. Um, the other cause could be an out of spec survey, but the values we're actually getting in HL and GT and DIP look ridiculous. So first of all, the accelerometer values they look like they're in G as opposed to milli-G to me. So that brings our G tolerance in. And then the next one for the magnetics, you would just cycle through these units. I happen to know it's G-link tensor uh, millivolts. And you can now see that our raw value was out of spec for the local magnetic field strength, and the raw value for the dip was out of spec. However, after our short color correction, the HL for short color correction and the dip for short color correction are in spec, which is denoted by um, the gray as opposed to a red um, highlighting. And the short color corrected azimuth is 259.49. The original raw azimuth was 259.80. So there's a reasonable correction there. 
So to continue this process, I will literally just pull in all the rest of the surveys we run. This does not need to be done one by one, but it can obviously be done one by run in real time as you're drilling the well. Copy. And paste. Okay, and that's pulled all my surveys in, all the raw values. We know the units are correct because we already set them up. We know the reference values are correct because we've already pulled them in. So we'll see here that you expect if there's magnetic interference on the z-axis, you will have out of spec HL and dip for the raw values. Um, but in the HL short color correction, you would expect these to be in spec if there's no issue with the survey. You can see here we've got a couple of surveys where the um, G total tolerance is out, so I would not use those surveys. And you can also see that even after short color correction has been applied, there are a couple of surveys with the magnetics reference values out of spec, so I wouldn't use those either. Okay, that was a brief summary to short color correction within Innova Engineering.